everybody, it's Margaret, and today I'm going to be talking to you a bit about Etsy Teams. This is going to be a two-part series. This is part one, where I just outline what teams are, where to find them, and what kinds of teams there are, so you can familiarize yourself with where to find them if you are interested in, in starting to explore that. Uh, I have another video where I outline the differences between followers and favorites on Etsy, which is important to know uh, when you are playing some of these different games on the teams. But let me just jump into it and, and get straight to where the teams are. So when you are a seller on Etsy or even a buyer, sometimes people that are purchasers on Etsy join the teams because there are threads and things that they like to search for and they can go straight to the source of a, a bunch of different sellers. Um, so here on the, this is sort of my landing page, my dashboard on Etsy. I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom, all the way, and right down here, join the community, there's a, a button that says Teams, or Reads, I should say. Click that, and it will take you to the Teams. Now this pops up My Teams automatically, um, but I'll come back to that in a minute. So if I click on Community, no, that's not what I want to do, sorry. <laughs> Come back to teams. Let's say that I want to join a different team. I want to just see what all different teams there are. Um, suppose I want to join a team that has something to do with digital downloads because I started another Etsy store for my digital downloads. So I might search for digital. And here you'll see it pops up all of these different teams people that are coming together to learn or grow or promote their channels and uh, it doesn't say how many this digital teams there are but here it's search, search by relevancy, search by most recent or least recent and a lot of times I'll read the title and description but I'll also check how many members it has. Uh, so like this one has over a thousand members, pushing two thousand members so this might be a good team for me to look into. Digital artists, now, some of the smaller teams might be good as well if it's more specialized. Um, so that's, you know, don't completely just discount them. So that's an, uh, one way to find the different teams. Let me show. Um, a lot of us sell vintage items. So if I type in vintage, oh, look, there it says 127 results for digital. Vintage. <laughs> There's a lot. <laughs> so there are over... 1200 teams for vintage and I'm on a lot of different teams uh, because I'll explain that in a minute <laughs> so here we go so that's that's how you find a team that you would like to be on let's say you sell vintage glasses I've just started selling that I don't even know if there's a team out there okay vintage glass so let's say you're selling Fenton or other oh look vintage eyewear lovers okay click that <laughs> I've just started selling vintage glasses, so here we go. I'm going to join this team. When you click on the team, this is the, the landing page for it, and before you can just jump in, you have to join the team. Some teams require you to fill out an application. Some teams are just, it's open, come on in. Um, but And it just depends on the team. Some have pretty strict rules about how frequently you participate. Um, I I just don't because... I, my life is, you know, I have kids and I'm all over the place, so there's no way that I can commit to, you know, creating five treasuries a week or making sure I share so many, you know, I can't keep that kind of commitment with it, but there are lots of teams out there that don't have any kind of commitment like that. You can pop in when you are ready to participate and pop back out when, you know, things get busy. So here it says about the team, here who can join, so it looks like it's open to anyone, which is awesome. So I'm going to click join the team. Before you join the team, so this is where it will pop up if you have an application to fill out and it'll ask you to answer questions or things like that. So I'm joining this team. Okay, perfect. So now I can look and see their latest threads. So the top five pop up or the uh, administrator or the leader can pin different threads here. Um, I know I have in, in a team that I am the captain for, the team captain. So here are some of the different um, discussions. But before I get into that, I just want to make sure you see where else you can find teams. Um, let's say that there's a shop that you really like. 
and let's say it's me because that's just what opened up. <laughs> let's say you say, man, I really like Margaret and I like the things that this shop has and I like the things that she favorites a lot. I want to find out what teams Margaret's on. So you can come over to shop owner and click the shop owner's name. It doesn't have to mean me. And then if you scroll down, you'll be able to see the treasuries that I've created or that I've been in, things that I favorited. And then down here, it'll show teams, favorite shops. So you could see, click here to see all the teams that I am in. Some sellers can can uh, choose to hide this. So there are there are um, settings where you can choose to hide your favorite shops, hide the things you favorite, hide your teams. I'm you know I'm out there, whatever. <laughs> so if you click on that, you can see all the different teams that I'm in. So. There are quite a few, I don't know, pages and pages, like 10 pages worth of teams. Um, so that is, <clears throat> that is a brief rundown of what teams are, where to find them, how to search for them, and such. So I am going to stop this here, and then I'll move on, because I don't want it to be too much crunched into one video. So I'm going to make a part two. And actually I'm looking at it. I'm like, oh gosh, I forgot about that. There might be a three parts. <laughs> okay. So thanks so much, you guys. I know that was a short little snippet about what teams are and where to find them. Uh, be on the lookout for part two, where I'll start talking about the different aspects of teams and the different ways they promote and games that they play. And then there's actually one other section because over here it talks about threads and uh, that was something that took me a little time to figure out. And once I did, it made it so much easier. So, <laughs> all right, I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching, you guys. And like I said, be on the lookout for parts two and three, or two B, we'll say. <laughs> Bye. Go out and enjoy yourselves.